Well, we've kind of been talking about it, talking about this Levelling Land Tour a bit. You know, amongst the band, we've got to start working it out and start rehearsing soon. The main point for us is to play it how we played it on the record, because now we play those songs quite differently and to kind of make it more interesting for us and more kind of authentic for the people coming, we're going to play it as it is on the record. Yeah, which means we've got to do a lot of rehearsing, which is unusual for us. The set list is easy because we know what songs are going to be there because it's there on the record. Um, I'm going to start off with a film that Dunstan's making, which is going to basically have the events of the early 90s when we wrote the record cut into with a, you know, cut together with a few bits from like right now to kind of set the scene and introduce everything. So it'll be intro, film. We, we pretty much decided now that we're just gonna we're gonna play the record from start to finish, straight through. Then we'll do all the B-sides, and then we'll do, you know, people's favourite songs, basically. But it'll probably be like Beautiful Day, I imagine, and... Yeah, that's probably about the only other greatest hit we had, actually, haven't we? <laughs> Thing is, like, actually, you know, most of the greatest hits are on that level in the land album, so... That's why I think it'll be kind of people's, you know, people's favourite live tunes, basically, at the end. This is the time when we have to start thinking about all the production and everything. And because like we have a big hand in in that, and our, our production is the stage, what the stage looks like, and any extra musicians we're gonna take. And the only one we've we're seriously thinking about is taking a really good percussion player, because there's quite a lot of percussion on the album. And most of the other like guest parts that other people did in the studio, Matt, our keyboard player, can do. He wasn't there when we did Levelling Land, but he can play everything, you know. He's a multi-instrumentalist, so he can do all that. Summoned into the laundrette. Yeah. <laughs> the only bit we haven't done is the greatest hits to end, because we've got to talk about that, yeah. I suppose, haven't we? Yeah, but as soon as we write. Yeah, but this is where we... That's pretty much what I said. <laughs> but yeah, that's... Old cliches every time. <laughs> well, that's... Uh, it, last days of winter, dance before the storm, hard fight, devil went down, yeah. I've got to draw a, uh, a stage plan as well. We're just figuring out what we're going to do right here, right now, in this wonderful laundrette. This is how, how business decisions are, are made. And uh, Jeremy is drawing a stage plan as we speak. We were just discussing a set list. So, yeah, riser at the back, Charlie in the middle, Fatty that side, Crushing that side, or whoever's going to be guesting. Yeah. Four across the front, get them out of the way, basically. On the back, back line, going under, side. But you know there were plans to do some sort of ramps up behind the back line. That's all right. That's, yeah. I mean, yeah, this is not, this is just a, like we did at the NEC, Because basically. you and I are basically going to have to be moving yeah, that's around right, the whole yeah. thing. And the backdrops is going to be the sun and spanners. That's the main one. And then we'll use our rolling A's on either side. That's the rough plot. It's, it's rough, it's a, is the word. It's a masterpiece. All those years at Arts College weren't wasted. <laughs> Taxpayers' expense. <laughs> yeah, it was in those days. Unlucky. I, I was just saying to Matt that I, I was... When you look at the track listing, and I, and I was saying that on the one hand you've got Battle of the Beanfield, which was kind of our call to be spokespeople for the travellers generation and people that were, were moving we out the city, which we never wanted <laughs> at the time, on the, and, and is a, a great protest song. On the other hand, you've got Another Man's Cause, which has since become a, uh, a focus for people within the armed forces to explain their feelings about where they are, and, yeah. and so f on one record to have these two yeah, completely point. polar opposite yeah. kind of... Uh, songs is just kind of yeah, yeah i don't know i don't know how to explain it well it's good to have songs that, that can be invested with that much yeah. significance you know after, after the fact as well. Yeah. well there's a relevance to i think though, to, to all the songs <laughs> there'd be no point in going and, and doing an album that was only specific to, a, to to that time you know everyone would have to dress up in the clothes that they wore back then you know there's no point Trying in doing younger. that exactly yeah <laughs>